electronic voting is still a bad idea. And I still get emails occasionally asking, things must have changed by now, right? There's this new idea and maybe it'll help. Surely electronic voting is, is just around the corner. No, no, it's, it's really not. Wrong. Electronic voting is a good idea. Not with voting machines and USB sticks, but with crypto. Elections have some very unusual requirements. There are two key features that are almost opposed to each other, anonymity and trust. Your vote should be completely anonymous, but it also needs to be obvious to everyone that the system can be trusted. With paper voting, there is no possible way to verify your vote. You must put your trust into a central authority that counts all of the votes. And the election results are only as good as the trustworthiness of that central authority. With technologies like cryptocurrency, there is no need for trust. The only thing that you need to trust is math. Every voter would have a private key and everybody would get exactly one voting token. And then they would send these voting tokens or votekins to either candidate A or candidate B. And at the end of the election, we would see who got the most tokens. But the key point is not that paper voting is perfect. It isn't. But attacks against it don't scale well. With decentralization, you would need to compromise millions of people in order to sway the results. There is no singular point of failure. Problem number one, trusting the software and the hardware. You don't need to trust the software or the hardware. The entire blockchain would be public and anybody can verify that the miners are following the protocol. Well, if everything is public, then how can the votes be anonymous? We'll get to that, don't worry. Problem number two is votes in transit. Again, with a blockchain, you wouldn't have to worry about this. All the votes would deliberately be out there in the open. Next. Which brings us to problem number three, the central counting server. There wouldn't be a central server. There would be a network of miners that all come together to reach a consensus on what the results of the election are. Reaching consensus in a decentralized way is a problem that has been solved for years. For years? You can watch this video right here in the description that describes how Bitcoin does it. What about new technologies? What about blockchain? <sighs> basically just a write-only database. It doesn't solve the problem of trusting the software or hardware. It but it does. Do we need to go through all this again? If it prints a receipt of the vote that you can check later, well, it breaks anonymity. Enter the zero knowledge proof. These are the keys to the kingdom right here. This is what cryptocurrencies like Zcash use to offer anonymous transactions. With zero knowledge proofs, you can make sure that only registered voters are able to vote and nobody is able to vote twice. Doing this all completely anonymously. You can do this by using spooky cryptographical math where you can have some secret information and be able to mathematically prove something about that information without actually revealing it. If you think about it, it sounds completely impossible, but the ZK Snark algorithm does just that. And with this system, it would be even more anonymous because with the current system, you can see who has and who hasn't voted. You just can't see whom they voted for. You can go on this website right here and see if your friends have voted. It's all public record. With crypto, you wouldn't even be able to see if someone voted or not. And all this is before we get to the really terrible idea that people should be able to use their phone or computer to vote from home. Okay, right. If anyone got your private key, then they could steal your vote. But as long as you still have the key, you can go and verify whether your vote went to the right person. 
But wait, how do people generate their private keys in the first place? How do you make it so that only registered voters can generate one and only one address? You safely generate your private key on an offline computer and then you digitally sign a message that says my name is XYZ or whatever and then you have to bring this signed message in with you when you register to vote and then your public key will be added to the list of valid voter addresses. The vote registration process would be centralized, sure, but that's the way it already is. The vote counting process, however, will be decentralized. There's only one other problem. Since this is all on a public blockchain that's widely distributed, in the future, in billions and billions of years in the future, when computers have advanced to the point where they're able to break this cryptography, people will be able to see exactly who voted for whom in every election. But, you know, that'll be billions of years in the future. And by that point, it shouldn't even matter. Listen, alright? It's not perfect. The point is, crypto voting is the future. And we have the technology to do this right now. Anyways, thanks for watching. Here's the question of the week. What is the most amount of money that you ever made in a day? The most amount of profit that you have ever accrued in one single 24 hour period. And if you want, tell us how you did it. Post your answers down below. Last week's question was, what is the worst financial advice that you've ever gotten?